Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's crack it. And today we are back with a new video, which is about the Capgemini pseudocode questions. So all these are the actual questions which are asked in the Capgemini exam. And remember one thing that both the Capgemini and Accenture uh, share same kind of pseudocode questions. Even same questions are repeated because the same platform will be conducting the exam. And the second thing is uh, look out for uh, uh, other videos which are posted in our channel uh, where Accenture pseudocode questions are solved. There are two parts. I will be providing the links in the description. Try to check on them. And if you are not yet a subscriber, immediately subscribe to our channel. And also you can join the link in the telegram link, which is provided in the disc uh, description box. Now let's uh, start our today's video. Moving on to the next three integers. They are defined P is eight, six and seven respectively. So the third line contains P is added. P is updated to phi and Q. So now I'm performing and operation on phi. I can write it as four plus one and Q value is six. Six can be written as four plus two. So on performing and operation, we yield only four as a common bit. So I get it as P is updated to four. Fine. And then in the fourth line, we get P is added with R and Q. So we need to consider the associativity which will be from the left to right. So I have to perform P and R first of all. So P ending with R. P is 4 and R is 7. Right? R is 7. 7 can be written as 4 plus 2 plus 1. So the and result will be only the fourth bit is common. Here it comes yields 4. P and R is 4 and performing 4 ended with Q again. So the Q value is 6. When 6 and 4 ended with 6, we get a zero, a result as 0. So the final result, this uh, entire result is 0. 0 less than 3 plus Q minus P. And 3 plus Q minus P, we get 9 minus 8, which is 1. So 0, 0 is less than 1. So I have to execute these two statements. Like Q is updated to 10 ZOR with R. Until now, only P values change and then Q value is updating to 10 exclusive R, uh, R with R. So 10 can be written as 8 plus 2 here and R can be written as 4 plus 2 plus 1. So the common bit will be only 2. Hence the and exclusive R will. Sorry, we need to leave the only the common bit and remaining all I need to consider. So 8 plus 4 plus 1, 13. So Q is updated to 13. Guys here uh, and and operation is different from exclusive R operation. They're quite opposite. Like in an and operation, we only consider the common bits. Whereas in exclusive R, we only consider the bits which are not common. So Q, uh, Q value is 13 now and P value is 7 plus Q, which is 20. So finally, the updated values are only P and Q. P is 20, Q is 13. So P is 20. Q is 13 and R is unchanged which gives us 7. So 33 plus 7 40 option B is the correct answer. Moving on P Q R integers. So we are having a if case where inside if case we are having R operator. So this means to say that either if a P greater than Q or else this statement is true. Any of the statements uh, if true this will be executed. So P greater than Q is false. Of course P if I is uh, less than C. So this is false, but we don't have any issues. Let's see whether this is true or false. R plus Q 10, 10 less than 8 minus are false. So this statement is false. Like this if case will not be executed. So I'm moving to else part. In else part, I'm having only P, P is updated to 2P plus 8. So P is updated to 18. Finally, printing the value of P plus 18 plus Q plus R 6 plus 4. 28 is a Final answer option D is the correct. Here we got only two lines of codes where the first line says uh, there are two st two strings. Uh, they are initialized to first string as OOL. So string one and string two. So string one is OOL and string two LO. But here we see a function count OOL where it contains substring of three arguments. So substring of three arguments are included. This is the most important part of the solution like three arguments. The first argument is the string itself and second, second argument is the start index and the last one end index. So 
so you need to be very careful the start index is included like this character is included but the end end character is excluded so you will be understanding what i am saying so now let me tell you substring of string 1 0 comma 2 yields us 0th index is o and 0th and first index is o l is not included only until the first index it's included and then the substring of this one will yield us only one character zeroth character but not the first so only l is considered on the whole we need to consider the number of ols in these three characters o o l option a 2 is the correct answer 2 ols moving on here we get three integers a b c are given and they are updated like uh, initialized to 5 4 and 10 respectively so here we get we see the value of a is updated here but simply we can ignore these uh, third and fourth line because in the final updated value of a the previous value of a is not contained so directly the latest value of a can be updated to a equals 2c which gives us 20 so 2 into 10 20 then c is updated to 10 and a so i am performing and operation on 10 initially 10 and 20 10 can be printed as in uh, binary form 8 plus 2 so 0 0 1 0 and here 20 can be reprinted as directly 16 plus 4 so the and value will be 0 0 0 only 4 is common not 4 sir nothing is common so we get the anded value as 0 c equals 0 then i am printing a plus b plus c as 20 plus b uh, b value is 4 plus 0 which we get option c as a correct answer 24 next question integer a b c update uh, they are initialized to 6 9 and 12 so in the third line we see the updated value c is updated to c equals a plus c plus 8 a plus c uh, 18 plus 8 26 and then b is updated to b equals a plus 10 which gives us 16 16 and ended with b I'm performing and operation 8421 reprinted so 16 can be reprinted as directly 16th bit so remaining all bits zeros and then 9 9 can be reprinted as 8 plus 1 so 1 here and 1 so the ended value will be 0 anyhow no common bits so we get b as 0 and then c can be written as 2 and with 11 plus c so if we see 2 and with 11 can be written as 8 2 1 bits so only uh, 2 bit is common so this uses 2 plus c we get 2 plus c 28 so finally a b c a plus b plus c on printing we get a value is unchanged 6 plus b is 0 plus c value 28 34 is the correct answer option d moving on three integers a b c so we here we got a for loop where uh, c will run from 4 to 8 so now let's uh, go with the flow of the code so initially when the value of c is uh, 4 so i am making a small table here so c value c equals 4 5 6 7 and 8 now let's try with c equals to 4 so when c is 4 if c and a the value of c is 4 4 ended with 4 we get 4 4 less than b minus c b is 8 8 minus 4 4 so this is false right so only if this is true we need to jump out of the loop so as it is it is false we proceed with the further statements like b is b equals b plus b 16 16 ended with again b 16 and with 8 we give we get 0 and then again b is updated to b equals 5 plus c which gives us 10 so when c equals 4 we get b value as 10 sorry here we need to consider the c value as the value from the loop so here c value is 4 right so i get 5 plus 4 as 9 and moving on to the next value so when c equals 5 when c equals 5 
C C and A. Phi and A. Phi hundred with uh, four we get four one and only four. Again four. Four is less than B minus C. B nine minus phi four. Same again four less than four. This statement is not. I mean, if case is not false, not true. So we execute the further statement as b equals 5 plus c again. b equals 5 plus c. 5 plus 5, 10. Now b value is 10. Now again moving on, c value as 6. If we consider 6, 6 added with 4. So 4 to again the 6 added with uh, 4, we get 4. Whether 4 is less than b minus c, b is 10. 10 minus 6, 4. I get it as 4 again. So 4 is not less than 4. Again B is updated to 5 plus C which gives us 5 plus 6 as 11. And performing the loop for C equals 7. C 7 and handed with A. 7 handed with 4 we get again 4. 4 less than B minus C. I get it as 11 minus 7, 4. Now updating the value b equals 5 plus c, 12. And here comes the next one. So initially three different integers are initialized p, q, r. So 5, 2, 7 are the values of p, q, r. And we encounter a for loop which runs uh, the value of r runs from 3 to 5. So it's clear. Now q is updated. Let's consider the value of r as 3, 4, 5 in each iteration. There are three iterations. Uh, let's uh, go with the flow of the code. Like uh, in the first iteration when r equals to 3, we get q. q equals 2 plus q, 2 plus 2, 4. q equals to 4. And then we encounter a if, if case where 7 plus 4, 11 is less than 10 plus q. We need to check it. If this is true, directly this, uh, the loop will be terminated like uh, we can jump out of the loop simply print the value of p, p and q now checking it 11 less than 10 plus q so q value is updated right q is uh, 4 10 plus 4 14 11 is less than 14 of course this is true so when this statement is true we execute jumping out of the loop this is the code so once we jump out of the code we don't need to worry about this case so directly printing p and q the most recent values p is unchanged which is 5 and q is changed to 4 5 plus 4 9 option b is the correct answer so of course this is a very lengthy question if we consider in terms of iterations but at some point of time the iteration will be i mean uh, we may jump out of the loop so don't get uh, intimidated by looking the code moving on here comes Three integers p, q, r. So we can we could see different kinds of operators here and exclusive r operator. So to perform this, you need to know about associative con associativity concept. So it is from left to right. We need to perform the operation from left to, to right onwards. That's it. And here comes the r. R value is updated in the third line. So q ended with phi. Q is phi. Phi ended with phi again. Whenever a number is ended with itself, we get the result as the same number. So r equals 500 with 5, 5 and 5 is odd with q, q equals to 5. So whenever a number is uh, exclusively odd with same number, we get the result as 0. So finally r is updated to 0, r equals 0 and then q equals to 10 plus 3, 13 plus r. The most recent value r is 0, not uh, we should not consider 5. So r is 13, uh, sorry q is 13 plus 0 which is 13. And then again p, p value is updated as r plus q plus p. So r is 0, q is recent value 13 plus p, the previous value of p is 3. So p is 16, right? These three uh, statements we have finished. And finally again r is exclusively, exclusively r with 11. r equals to 11, is r with the previous value of r is 0. So any number uh, is odd with 0, we get the same number. So r is 11. And again q is updated. q equals 8 plus 6, 14. 14 ended with r. r is 11. So 14 can be reprinted as 8 plus 4 plus 2. 
8 plus uh, here 14 I can represent it as 1110 and 11 can be represented as 8 plus 2 plus 1 11011 1, 1. so we get the common bits as 8 and 2 I get uh, 10 so Q is updated to 10 finally so at last I am printing P plus Q plus R the most recent values of P Q R R P is 16 Q value is 10 and R value is 11 16 plus 10 plus 11 which gives uh, 37 the final result is 37 option B then the next question so three integers a b a p q r and the if case is containing if r plus q greater than q minus r r plus q gives us 13 13 is greater than q minus r is minus 3 of course 13 is greater so we enter the next if case which is q and p less than p so q and p what uh, what is the result on ending q with p we get q is 5 and p is 0 so always 0 ended with anything we get 0 so 0 is less than p no 0 is equal to 0 right so even this case is failed like this if case the first if case is, uh, is uh, true but the second if case got false so on the whole we get directly print p plus q plus r with the unchanged values 0 plus 5 plus 8 we get 13 option a is the correct answer here we encounter a small function integer fun of three arguments a b c so these three arguments are given as 4 5 and 9 respectively so here in the third line c equals 7 and a 7 is ended with a value is 4 when 7 can be written as 4 to 1 and 4 can be represented as 4th bit directly only 4 is common so the result will be 4 when 7 is ended with 4 we get 4 and for each c from 5 to 8 so now no matter what the value of c here here again we are running the loop with uh, these values from 5 to 8 5 6 7 8 the loop will be running so the value of c it will be so when the value of c let's consider as 5 the first iteration b is updated to b plus c b initially is 5 5 plus 5 it is 10 now b is 10 and then in the second iteration again b equals to b plus c 10 plus 6 16 and then again b plus c in the uh, third iteration 16 plus 7 we, which uh, yields 23 finally the last at last b equals b plus c we get 31 so at the end of the loop we uh, got the updated value of b as 31 at the end of the loop we got 31 as a value of b and value of a is unchanged which is 4 so on returning we get a plus b is 4 plus 31 which will be the option a 35 correct answer